David Galinter, a respected Yale University professor, has publicly renounced his belief in Charles Darwin's theory of evolution, calling it a beautiful idea that has been effectively disproven. In a column in the Claremont Review of Books, Dr. David Galinter wrote that books by intelligent design proponents, especially Darwin's Doubt by Stephen Meyer, convinced them that Darwinian evolution cannot be correct. More recently, Galinter, along with Meyer and intelligent design proponent Dr. David Perlinsky, discussed the failure of Darwinism in an interview with Peter Robinson of the Hoover Institution. My argument is with people who dismiss uh, intelligent design without considering it, it seems to me, it's widely dismissed in my world of academia as some sort of theological put-up job. It's an absolutely serious scientific argument. In fact, it's the first and most obvious and intuitive one that comes to mind. It's got to be dealt with intellectually, not, not, not by the bigotry, the anti-religious bigotry, which is one of the most important facts of the intellectual world in the United States, in the West generally. The, 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 case, you know, the case for intelligent design is not based on, uh, you know, we, we can have a theological discussion as we've had a bit here, but the case for intelligent design isn't a, an interpretation or a deduction from the scriptural text. Right. It's an inference from biological evidence. Although Galinter has given up on Darwin, he hasn't fully embraced intelligent design, in part because he sees the existence of evil as a major argument against such a design. But this objection illustrates an important point. Intelligent design by itself is not a satisfactory explanation of our origins. Hard issues such as the existence of evil can't be adequately answered simply by positing an unspecified designer. They require theological answers. This is why biblical creation is very important. Berlinski made another eye-opening comment. Intelligent design doesn't really give us much. It's not yet a theory. I'm much more persuaded by something that leads to a strong counterintuitive claim. Berlinski is correct that intelligent design doesn't give us much. It doesn't explain why death, evil and suffering exist, despite the undeniable design found in living things. Nor does it answer other big questions. Why do we humans have an innate sense of right and wrong? Why are billions of fossils found in water deposited rocks all over the world? Why do cultures around the world have recollections of a global flood that nearly destroyed the human race? The Bible gives us answers to these questions, answers rooted in real history. Moreover, they have led to counterintuitive but successful scientific predictions. Finally, the Bible also gives us the answer to the most important question of all. What does our Creator require of us in order to gain eternal life and be at peace? That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. In Romans 10 verses 9. Perhaps Dr. David Galinter's conclusion will spark new discussions on God's great design and lead people to consult Genesis and the whole of Scripture for answers. Because the truth can only be found in God's Word, the Bible. Thanks for watching everyone, and may you all have a blessed day.